Oh, ominous thunder in the background there. Alright, so, Jean of Arc. It is war. No, hold on. It is war that has lasted for 100 years, and the French have lost nearly every battle. Soon, the English and their stinking allies in Burgundy will conquer all of France. The heir to the French monarchy is too cowardly to ascend to the throne. The French army is wounded and tired and has given up all hope. But in the darkest hour, a young peasant girl decides that she intends to save France. So there you go. Uh, Jeanne of Arc, the intro. And uh, the first campaign will be an unlikely messiah. Don't expect me to keep that up. <laughs> I'm terrible at accents. But uh, I feel like I can do French okay. Any, any French in the chat? Anyone, um, anyone out there from France? Give me a rating. On, uh, on a rating of 1 to Napoleon, how French was that accent? Difficulty wise, what do you reckon? Standard, moderate, or hard? You guys can choose in the chat. Shout it out to me. Standard, moderate, or hard? Do we go for hard? Or do I embarrass myself <laughs> and go for hard, rather? Uh, or do we need moderate? I, I think I'll be fine on hard, but you let me know. 11 out of 10. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks. Thanks, MRM. Much appreciated. <laughs> Monty Python out of 10. Brilliant. Oh, Alright, people are saying hard. Alright, we're doing it hard, guys. Buckle up. Buckle up. An unlikely messiah. And uh, hard difficulty. Let's do it. Um, I'll make sure. Okay, here we go. From the journal of Guy Jocelyn. Oh. Army camp near this morning I awoke to visions of fire. <laughs> Damn it, Team 56. <laughs> You're cutting this guy off. <laughs> Thanks for the resub, man. Much appreciated. But observing the wounds and weariness of every soldier under my command. Observing the Desperation in their eyes. Things aren't going well for the French. No, the girl. Her name was Jean. She told us she was but a peasant who did not know how to ride or fight. Peasant Jean. <laughs> Psychosis patient, I'm looking at you as well. <laughs> how dare you cut this man? I'm kidding. Uh, thank you very much for the resub. Six months in a row. Much appreciated, man. Welcome back to the Wallow Warlords. That is enough for me. Cast our ragged band of soldiers to take her to Sheen, where the rightful ruler of France, the Dauphin, hides from his foes. <laughs> what a coward! The war-torn land between them is infested with enemy marauders, and we will lose many men. Death is by now an old companion, but for Jean, we will face it again. Yeah, CJ, I figured. Um, I will turn up the game sounds so you can hi hear this uh, beautiful Frenchman in the background. Um, obviously, the intro is now over. But okay, so objective campaign number one Jean of Arc. Escort Joan from the camp at uh, Vaculeurs, Vaculeurs, something like that, to the Chateau of Chinon. Jean must survive. All right, so I guess this is Bonjour, Jean. Oh. My colleague and I will escort you to the Chateau of the Dauphin, or else we will die trying. I am Jean de Metz, and I will protect you with my life. Well, Sieur, Sieur Bertrand and Sieur de Metz will be escorting the lovely Jean of Arc. Doesn't she look fantastic? I mean, Jean de Metz, she's not... She's... She's not yet acquired the status of Ark. She is still but a maid. And we're going to have to escort her, I assume, to this flag. This is obviously the Chateau of the Dauphin. Uh, <laughs> we'll be off then, I suppose. Alright, so what I tend to do when it is a group... Use, I use control groups as much as I can. So You are Jean of Arc. I have heard your claims and believe what you say. We will follow you to Chinon. No, swordsman, you are wrong. She is not. You might have need of a few archers on the road ahead. Ah, oh, guys, you're flattering me. Ah, you obviously. You must be wary on the road ahead. Our enemies, the British, are out in force, and their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. Discretion is the better part of valor. Ha. These guys clearly underestimate my ability to micro. Um, 
<laughs> it's pretty much non-existent, by the way. My micro is uh, ass, to say the least. Oh, look, it's Dire Wolf. Uh, I guess these Dire Wolves are gonna have to die. Leave it. <laughs> Ranker, then stitch in for Gang Iron, oh, and God. everyone else. It's a roll call. Um, Loose Screw, thank you for the tribute. Um, sadly, sadly, the donation woman does. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah, let's let's get out of there. I'm not I'm not having anything to do with that. Um, Loose Screw, thanks for the tribute. Much appreciated, man. Um, I'm not really sure why she cut you off. But she didn't want to listen to what you had to say, and sadly, I mean, what's going on there? Another glorious loss for France. I hope you really can turn the tide of this war. <laughs> Another glorious loss for France. Well, why does that not surprise me? Thank you very much, Mozenator, for resubscribing. Much appreciated, man. Welcome back to the Wall of the Warlords. Welcome back, indeed. Alright, so, France are losing the fight. The Brits, they are too strong, of course, and, uh, well, we're gonna have to save them. It's gonna be a little anti-patriotic, this, this series, this, uh, campaign, since, well, I mean, it's the French fighting the British. The British must have destroyed it. We must find another way to Chinon. Good on you, you Brits. Doing the logical thing. Doing the logical thing. Taking the bridge out. You see, if I was, you know, medieval warrior, if I was a medieval general, I would have destroyed that bridge. So, clearly, they know what's going on. Uh-oh. Is there some baddies? So, basically, these guys are super beefy, and they will regen, so I kind of leave those guys to kill everything. What has become of our homeland? Oh, your homeland. It's covered in... Bandits, clearly. There's no good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll talk about the New World Order in good time. You know what? I feel like we should leave a trail of destruction. Let all of those who oppose us know about Joan of Arc. And uh, now I've muted the game. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> I feel like the game sounds a little too high right now. Uh, let me just try and, I don't know, I'm trying to just get the right balance of game sound to to my voice. It's kind of a difficult thing. Uh, we'll leave a trail of destruction wherever we go. That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, so I guess we just follow the path, follow the yellow brick road, or the yellow path. Uh -oh. It is true, Demets, we won't get through. So I guess our journey ends here. Good night. Alright, well, uh, we'll just have to find an alternative way around, clearly. Uh, Jean... You will go this way. I should probably shouldn't have taken her so close to the wall, really. Something inside could have been nasty and killed her. Um, so, yeah, perversa versa versa versa. Can never say your name, but uh, I'll talk to you about the New World Order in good time. Uh, clearly, we need to uh, explain what's going on. Venison. <laughs> yeah, tons of venison. Look at all this. Yummy, yummy venison. Let's have some of that. Tasty. I like the meat, 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 the lovely tasty meat. Um, I don't actually know where we're supposed to be going, I'm just going to explore around a little bit. Um, it's been so long since i played these campaigns that I cannot remember, I cannot remember anything about where we're supposed to go, what we're supposed to do, any of that crap. We'll figure it out in good time. Um, I'm guessing we, we follow this secondary path here. I don't know why these guys are going off to the left side. There might be something up this hill. Who knows? Ah, there's a tower. Let's go. Let's not go that way. Alrighty. Let's go along How the right Hancake side. How does Hancake feel about you escorting ladies all around the land to take her back to <laughs> your castle? Asterisk easier to donate than Patreon. Thank you very much, Mr. Mojo. Uh, much appreciated, man. Uh, I, I don't know. Hannah doesn't know about my uh, my escort side job. Well, you know, being an escort in the UK pays quite well. Uh, you know, it's this kind of it's kind of hard to find male escorts these days, and you know, this. Uh, a lot of demand for it, so, I don't know, as long as she doesn't find out about my side job, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure she's, sure she'll understand at the end of the day. But thank you for your tribute, man, much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, obviously, the Patreon is, like, an optional thing. Like, I, I, the thing is, I don't want people to get the impression that with that video, I'm like, ah, oh, you guys should give me money because uh, I deserve it. It's not like that at all. It's basically just saying, hey, if you guys uh, want to remove ads on my videos using Adblock, feel free. Not gonna stop you, 
but uh, do consider giving a dollar a month to uh, help support the channel if you plan on uh, putting ad block on basically simple as that but yeah, I, I guess some people take it the wrong way uh, which is expected to be honest with you uh, I guess money is a sensitive topic a lot of the time all right we seem to have found a way around we don't have to go through the castle or over the castle we go around the castle easy simple oh, oh, oh I thought that was a, a dead end then I thought the bridge just stopped halfway but of course not okay so ah, some more dire wolves what are they in dire need of? Some meat, clearly. Alright, so, going on. I like to kind of let these guys take as much damage as possible, because, I mean, they're, they're hardly taking any damage anyway. They just uh, tank it all up. It's not a problem. Uh, I don't know if these wolves would actually attack Joan, but I guess it doesn't really matter, because they're all getting butchered before we even make it over there. Alright, so, a lumber camp. A mill, I guess. We'll find some siege equipment here. Or just a town. Or none of the above. What's going on, Yellow? Yellow is Army of France. Ah, look. There we go. Some siege. Five of the Queen's finest. Thank you for the tribute, Psychosis. Patient. Five of the Queen's finest. Uh, which Queen are we talking about? The Queen of England, of course. Of course. Alright, um... What is actually going on right here? Mmm... Where do we go? Ah, some siege. There we go. I guess this is where we go. No. Are you mad? Ah. Across that bridge lies a Burgundian castle and many men. Turn back at once. Well, I'm turning back. Yeah, I'm turning back. All right, Mr. Swordsman, I will take your words of wisdom, and I will not go across that bridge because clearly that is suicide. I don't know. Guard towers—they're not that scary, I guess. We got hero units after all, but you know, we'll figure something out. I guess we just got to find the right flag to stand on. And it will all become clear. Or maybe not. Maybe it won't become clear. I'm not actually sure what we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, ah. There we go. We will carry that battering ram along with us. It may yet be of use. It may yet be of use. Of course it will be of use. Um, the question is, do we attack this castle here or this castle here? Which one would you do you think? I mean, I don't know why it took so long to activate that trigger. I guess it was Joan that needed to, to go to the area. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon we should do... Well, Joan here. Do you reckon we should uh, attack this castle? Or go for the one to the south? I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you have to bring Joan to the units. I figured that out now. <laughs> Both. Why not both? Uh, don't attack the castle across the river. It's suicide. Both castles are across the river. <laughs> both of them. Uh, I'll take the word of warning um, that it is suicide to do that. And we'll come down here. And I guess we'll attack this castle instead. Because this one looks a lot less defended. I only see one guard tower. Rather than this one here, which has two. And probably a castle inside. I, I don't know. But yeah, we'll do that. Sounds like a plan to me. And, uh, well, we're gonna wait for the battering ram. I mean, this thing, god damn it. Maybe we should load it up. There you go, go in the battering ram. Hey, well, believe it or not, we've got a ram. Would you believe that? Would you believe it? Just so happens that we actually have a ram. Unbelievable. Can't believe the look. What? I told that guy to get in the, uh, in the ram and he walked straight past it. It's really odd. Odd. Odd bod. Come on now, get in the ram. Do it. There we go. You know what, we'll just fill this bad boy up. Help contribute a bit to the speed. There we go. Um, so, let's see, I'm thinking right now we should probably put some game music on, just to add to the character a little bit. There you go, a little bit of background music. Sacre bleu! MRM, are you a Frenchman? I believe you might be. I have reason to suspect that MRM is French. <laughs> That's fine, of course. Oh, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we may as well attack this gate as well. I hope we don't get absolutely screwed here. Like, this ram is going down pretty quick. Oh god, it's definitely going down now. GB, 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 GB. Oh god. For the love of god, please. No, protect the ram! God damn it! It's not that difficult, is it? Okay, well, the ram should be fine now. I mean, if we get through the gate, that's good. I, I really hope we can get through this gate. The ram is dying, slowly but surely. 
As long as my uh, my dudes aren't being attacked by the tower, we're okay. Yeah, that ram's that ram's dead. Oh, Joan's in there. Shit. Get back, Joan. Do not die to the pesky enemy. Um, this isn't working out too well, is it? I should have probably like I don't know protected the ram a little better. Usually that's a good idea, but I think we'll be fine anyway. We're gonna get through here. It's it's okay. It's okay. This gate is going down. How many men I will lose in the process? I do not care. For I am French, and the French do not care. I mean, clearly, we're meant to lose this fight because the French are, you know, on a bit of a losing streak at the moment. And uh, that's clearly no good. Anyway, we have a superior army. My dudes don't really seem to be dying to the guard tower, so we will get through the gate. We just have to resident sleep for it up for a while, and the gate will eventually fall. <sighs> Get your shit together, Joan. Yeah, you guys know what's up. There we go, just slaughter these guys. No sweaterino. I don't know why I'm going through- Oh, I think I have to go through here, right, yeah, of course. Let's just avoid the towers as much as we can. Well, I think you're fine. We do actually know when to give up. Hey, look at this. Joan has like a million and one health here. She can just cruise straight by this tower. Look at this. She is like in the matrix right now. Not a single arrow hit her. Okay, I lied. One arrow hit her. But that's fine. She'll heal up. And I don't think we actually lost many units. Maybe one or two. That's totally fine, if you ask me. Worth losing a round for- Oh no! We will save your poor villager! Oh, too late. I don't know if he was supposed to be there. Just come across the river and see a, a poor villager being slaughtered by a dire wolf. Poor guy. Alright, so, sorted? Maybe. Anyone else want to attack the wolf? There we go. Come on then, Jean. We will take you, we will escort you through the horrible place that we call... The oh. Hurry west! Ah, why not fight? Why not fight? We've got pikemen, we got everything we need to sort these guys out. They don't know what's good. Okay, maybe we should actually just like hold these guys up a little bit here. Because actually, shit, there's a lot of dudes. Oh god. Alright, Joan. Run for your life! Oh, there's some transport ships. Fantastic. Alright, well, you get in there. Oh god. Oh god. No. Transports are like the worst things. <laughs> transports are the worst! You can't, you can never make transports work. Oh god. Okay, come on. Load them up. Load them up, boys. There we go. Come on. In we get. In we get. Come on. Okay, that kind of failed. It, you can make it in. There we go. Sorted. To the west. That's this way, right? I think I lost a few too many men there. No, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh well. I thought we could stand and fight, you know. No English army or Burgundian army is uh, too little for me. Oh, I think we're supposed to disembark here. Oops. Where am I going, man? Where am I going? What's going on right now? I'm a big noob at this. I'm, you know what? It's, it's funny. I'm, I'm terrible at playing scenarios. But I thought that would add to the... <laughs> no, we don't go there either. I thought that would add to the humor a little bit, you know. Um... So I'm not really sure why we're supposed to be dropping these guys off. Clearly not up here. Clearly not. We have to go down this way. Which is not to the west. This is to the to the southeast, guys. I, I don't think the game knows it's diff the difference between north, south, east, and west. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Are we, are we actually going the wrong way again? I guess not. I guess we just keep going down here until we find a nice place to land. Is this a nice place to land? I'm getting the feeling it's not. Let's keep going. Maybe here? I doubt it, actually. But, oh god! Oh, please, no. Ah! This is no good. Ah! Okay, we get off here. This is our destination, guys. We made it. No sweat. I think I found it. Alright, there we go. I couldn't tell, because it looked like that tree was blocking everything. Alright, well let's just explore with these guys, see what the what else is going on. I might want to try and keep one and let it escape. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll send these guys down south. Alright, cool, we made it. Um, we're getting closer to the chateau. No problem. Uh, there's no baddies either. So that's that, the bridge that's out. I just kind of want to explore the water a little here to see what's going on. Uh, we're getting close. I can feel it. I can feel it now. We are closing in. 
question is, how do we get into our allies' base? And I'm starting to think maybe we actually need to bring a transport around to here. Ah, oh, okay. Well, um, we can't get in this way. So we're going to have to transport across this river, I imagine. Oh, wait, no. Ha, <laughs> there's a bridge. No problem. Okay, cool. Go across the bridge here, and we should be sorted. Sweet. There we go. We're in. Good job. I think that's the first mission complete, I believe. Good job I've not had to build or do anything else than just escort Jean across the map. Otherwise, I probably would have lost. But I think that's going to be coming up pretty soon. Pardon me. Alrighty. Up to the flag we go. Come on now. We did it. The Chateau of the Dauphin. Come on, Joan. What are you doing? Hurry up. Look at that. She can go really fast when she wants to. <laughs> Alright. We did it. Woo! Achievements! Five golden victories and champion of the Franks. Brilliant. As Jean's footsteps echo down the marble tower of the chateau, the fat and whispering dude did not but stay. The Dauphin himself seemed afraid as she kissed his feet. My gentle Dauphin, she demanded, why does England claim what is ours? Because England's Why awesome. Crown, King of France, as is your right. The courtiers <laughs> began to murmur. The Chamberlain whispered lies into the Dauphin's ear, but the Dauphin pushed the Chamberlain away and rose to meet Jean's gaze. She stands only to the shoulder of this shortest man, but all of us must look up to speak to her. I know not what silent conversation passed between the Dauphin and his would-be savior, but it was obvious. His Majesty was in the same throne as we. Ah, <clears throat> there we go. Awesome. We made it, and we win. Good stuff. Uh, to answer your question.